First, I need to say that um, about my education. I am theologist and political scientist by education. I have been doing this for a long time, and uh, later I have made the relevant became my book. I was 26 years old then. Uh, then I decided to turn my hobby into business and open my enterprise. But I need to say that uh, all my history, all my experience, all my success uh, is based on my life history. I was um, exciting my second child when my husband left me. Uh, I had four years daughter and exciting second child. So it was very hard time in my life. I had no parents, uh, so there was nobody to who will take care of me, but it gave me time uh, to learn, so I begin my lecture. I set the goal and begin my lecture. Um, then, um, I was very hard working. I began my lecture. Uh, I attending a lot of business meetings with baby in hands. Also, then second step, I uh, Participate uh, in a grant competition, enterprising grant competition. Uh, my plan, my project was like and that got funding and open my Thank you, Miriam, for sharing your, your story and for being honest with us. And uh, I think that's uh, uh, how entrepreneurs actually starts. Most of us uh, in some difficult part of our life, we found that courage and that uh, energy. It made me stronger. It made I me think. stronger. I Absolutely. Now I'm very strong. <laughs> and now was frozen time because Corona was very really frozen time in my life. But after your consultation, thank you, I'm very thankful. Uh, because after your consultation, I begin my new action. I, mean, uh, I got new plans. And uh, now, nowadays, I'm, I'm good. I'm working again. So I was in depression because of COVID 19. But now I'm fine. <laughs> My pleasure. And uh, can you also share about the Georgia? It's a beautiful country, but many people maybe don't know a lot. Um, Georgia is an ancient country. We have very good, very tasty wines. A lot of different kinds of wines. I agree. So, good wine areas. It's very uh, beautiful with uh, its high streams, uh, with its nature, with natural resources. Uh, everyone must come here and people are very beautiful and uh, guest cool people we love our guests and um, I invite I invite all you come in Georgia and be my guest. <laughs> I will be happy. And you said before COVID you travel uh, in Italy and also in France. So now during this pause uh, you change your business model, but you are waiting for the time when we will be uh, able to travel again. So can you share a little bit about your work, if you have some piece of, of your jewelry which you can share with us or something you would like to sh uh, show people so people can understand your work better? I can. I can go to the shop then. It's my friend. It's my jewelry. I will tell about this, which kind of jewelry. It's mm -hmm. like an animal. This silver, this silver bracelet and ring. It's a uh, queen mm -hmm. made in jewelry, famous painting. Mm -hmm. uh, I made uh, famous paintings in jewelry. If somebody loves art and has uh, um, his uh, favorite painting we can do it in general and i think this is very great pleasure when you 
we are your favorite painting is in general uh general uh, and uh, my creations uh, are uh, um, handmade jewelry technological is very difficult to uh, because why uh, uh, it's expensive i think uh, inspired by my love <laughs> i love my creations like Pygmalioni allowed to have his galatea i love my creations to insect so each of them is uh, inspired with my love and also uh, i think i'm responsible for the quality each of my jewelry uh, of my creations Uh, what this jewelry means to you? What kind of emotions? So you said you have some uh, yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, uh, I think, the same picture in uh, jewelry. And mm -hmm. each petals is uh, uh, in, uh, in my creations. And uh, it looks like the picture. They love them. They, it's very impressive for them. And, uh, it's uh, when they allow my patients, it's a great for me. And your customers are uh, based in Georgia or they're also international customers? Uh, I have international, uh, most of all, I have international customers. I have stores here. And uh, we in our group, we have many artists as and, well. And how they can find more information about your artwork? Um, it's social media, Facebook. I have got a lot of friends, uh, and uh, we are now good friends. And uh, Colony Time was not very good for me because I have got very, a lot of friends uh, online. And uh, can you also share uh, what are you doing during this uh, pandemic year uh, to keep yourself healthy and well-being? What kind of uh, daily uh, rituals do you have? The first, I was not afraid for the I think I'm a very healthy person. <laughs> yes, I'm not afraid. So, but to stay home there was very hard for me. But I have some and other hobbies. For example, play piano, classical music, my pets. I have got uh, uh, one pet and two kittens. Also, my fish, my flowers, home flowers. I love nature and my home flowers. So, I have a good time. I have new friends, my online friends uh, by Facebook. So, it was not very hard. <laughs> Thank you, Marian, for, for sharing your story. And uh, we are all looking to see you uh, when we'll be allowed to oh, travel. Georgia. You must, uh, you must uh, see my country. And also, I will make master classes for you. <laughs> yes, I do also master classes uh, for tourists uh, how to make poison in my in my workshop. So I invite you really very really, really, Amazing. I also invite also our members to visit Georgia. And um, I heard uh, great stories. And you are also one of the existing proof. Thank you, Mary. And thank you for this interview. And we are looking forward to see uh, your jewelry and your progress in your business uh, online and offline as well, of course. Thank you. Okay, thank you.